Happy Valentine's Day. Come on in here. Come on in here, y'all. Okay, if you love her, buy her assets. If you love her, invest in her business. Tell your man today, if you love me, buy my ticket to the Financial Freedom Challenge. <laughs> You know, if you love her, hi, if you love her, invest in her. Thank you. Comment, um, buy me assets in the chat. Happy Valentine's Day, KJ. Comment, buy me assets in the chat. Comment, buy me assets in the chat. Because that's the energy. I'm like, I don't want it. If it's not making me wealthier, I don't want it. <laughs> buy me assets. You know what I'm saying? Buy me some stocks. Buy me a class. Get me a coaching call. Buy me a ticket to the summit. Hello. You know what I'm saying? If you really love me, if I'm really the one, help me make more money. Grow my portfolio. <laughs> Y'all, come on in here and let's talk about how you are going to make more money, okay? It is Valentine's Day. And whether you have a special someone in your life or if you are your special someone, which we're here for that too, this is important for you to understand how you can love on yourself and increase your own self-worth by making more money, okay? Let's, let's make that a real thing. When you can increase the numbers in your bank account, that is absolutely a show of self-love. Even if you're spending your Valentine's Day single, quote unquote, don't feel bad, girl. Do not feel bad. Because you can absolutely be getting a bag even as a single lady. And when you're getting a bag as a single lady, it's all for you. <laughs> so the more money you can start making, that is definitely you giving yourself love. That is definitely you investing in yourself and that's also what ends up attracting the next partner in your life should you decide to have one when you focus on your bag and you're getting your bag together that is what ends up putting you in alignment for that next man or that next woman or whatever the case might be so getting you a bag also gets you a bay okay it really does the bag and the bay. Because you can have both. Comment both of them in the chat. Comment both of them. B O F F U M. Comment both of them in the chat. Hey, Eric, thank you so much for the badge. That is so sweet. Instagram is being kind of weird right now, so I got to make sure everything is working. Comment both of them in the chat. All right. You know, Instagram was weird yesterday too, y'all. So I got to restart it real quick. Because it's trying to hate on us. But we're not going to let that happen. Oh, wait, here we go. We're not going to let that happen. Oh, add a title. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I feel like Instagram had an update today. Because everything looks different, just like that. Maybe it was giving me a hard time because it wanted me to refresh. Okay, boom. 
Yes, really both of them. Okay, we want to have the bag and the bay. All right. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Happy Valentine's Day. We are talking about getting the bag and the bay. And how you making more money is the ultimate display of self-care and self-love. So know this. And let's talk about how you're going to make more money this year. Let's talk about how you're going to normalize 10K weeks, 50K months, 100K months. Okay. Hey, from Texas. So actually, I love that. As you guys are coming in, especially on Instagram, but YouTube as well, <laughs> excuse me, drop your location in the chat where are you checking in from where are you located where are y'all do we have uh atlanta or georgia in the house do we have any a la people i'm an la girl born and raised through and through do we have any new yorkers come in your city and state so i can know where y'all are from hi deborah you might want to adjust your mic because i'm pretty sure everyone else can hear me so maybe just check your volume on your phone. Okay, Houston. I'm thinking about moving back to Houston. Okay, I see someone from LA. I see Richmond. I see Virginia, New Jersey, New York. Now, what part of New York? Because y'all be so serious about the Brooklyns or the whatever. I see two New Yorkers. Okay, I love New York and I miss New York. Brooklyn in the house. Eric is in Los Angeles, and I love it. We got HCL. You know the funny thing, y'all? For the whole first two or three years of me creating content, you know, online and building this business, <laughs> everybody thought I lived in Atlanta. Every single person. They were shocked when I was like, I don't live there. I, I don't live in Atlanta. I live in L.A., <laughs> Everyone thought I was in Atlanta. And I love Atlanta, but Atlanta is always on 10. I feel like there's always an event. There's always a party. There's always something fun. There's always some networking. <laughs> I feel like if I lived in Atlanta, I don't know if I would ever be able to stay in the house. Like, there's just always something to do. So I definitely like living a little bit outside of the city. Uh, oh, let me read that comment, Bella. Um, I'm definitely glad I live a little outside of the city so we can come into Atlanta and go as we please, okay? Yeah, KJ said, yeah, we're extra. Yeah, because I'm like, listen, when I saw Keith Lee visiting Atlanta for the, you know, doing his uh, rounds with his, um, his uh, food critic thing, and I saw the rules at the restaurants, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I could not live here. I'll visit, but no, you want to charge me extra for butter and, and, and syrup and all different types of things? I'm good. I'm totally good. Love Atlanta. Love y'all who are in Atlanta. But y'all's restaurants got a lot going on, okay? And for a foodie like me, I want to be able to sit down and have a good experience, okay? So, I don't know how y'all do it. <laughs> but, right, exactly. Very. So, uh, let's get into how you guys are going to make more money and how you are going to grow and scale your business and really diversify the income streams that you have in your business. So Instagram is definitely being a little weird, but if you're in here, go ahead and share this live out with 10 people so that we can show them how they're going to make more money this year. So go ahead and share this live, spread the wealth. If you're going to start making 50K a month, I'm sure you have some friends who you also want to start making 50K a month so that you guys can be on Turks and Caicos together. Because you don't want to be the only one in your family or in your group making more money. You want everyone to be leveling up together if they want to have a business, okay? 
So go ahead and share this out with 10 people. You too on YouTube, go ahead and share this. So first things first, right? I want you guys to really change your mindset around what it means to be making $50,000 a month or $100,000 a month. I want you to know that it's possible, okay? Go ahead and comment those two words in the chat. It's possible. It's possible. This sounds like a huge number. Most people in our society are only making 50K a year, and that is a fact. But with the right strategy, with the right tools, you can absolutely turn your yearly salary into what you make on a monthly basis. And that is the prayer for all of you. That is what I wish on all of you. Let's turn what you make in a month into what you make in a day. Let's turn what you make in a year into what you make in a week, okay? Having those big goals, I need you to know that it's possible. If other people are doing it, if I'm doing it, and you guys know my story, if you've been following me since 2020, you know where I started from. So it's definitely possible. The right set of systems, strategies, tools, and products are what will get you there. So the key thing in, you know, in making more money, specifically in your online business, is ensuring that not only you have the right products and services, but also that you know what problem your business solves for your customer, okay? I always tell you guys we did talking about grants, right? I explained to you guys that when you're applying for grants, one of the main things that a grant board is looking at is what problem does your business solve, but as well, how does it make some community better, right? What benefits does it give along with providing a product? We know you sell something, but what benefits does it give to this particular niche or community of people? And that is often what gives a grant board the confidence to choose your grant to win. So again, going back to our example, if you're a catering company, your product or service is food, right? But let's take it a step further. Think like a big business. Yes, you provide food. Okay. But how do we really connect that to the problem that we solve for a larger community? How do we make it relevant to a larger community? community. Okay, yes, we sell food, hmm, but we use organic products so that we can help lower high blood, high blood pressure levels in this particular demographic. We don't use MSG in our foods or we use a certain type of salt to make sure that it doesn't contribute to high cholesterol levels that exist within the black community. So our catering company is taking extra steps to lower the cholesterol rates, to lower the blood pressure rates in minority communities while still giving them food that they can enjoy. That's a big business, okay? That's a big business. That's a lot different from we're a catering company and our favorite, the favorite dish is mac and cheese. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Right? But a big difference is we're a catering company. Yes, the favorite food is mac and cheese, but what we do and why our business matters and stands out is that we provide amazing food that is actually good for you, reduces cholesterol, reduces blood pressure, and we use organic products to help increase health outcomes. That's a big difference. So when I say think of yourself as a big business, you want to be looking at not only what does your business sell, what product, what service, but what is a bigger problem that your business solves? How does your business contribute to some element in a specific community? And that is what you're selling. So when you focus on that big problem and positioning your business as that big solution, that's when you start to see big profits. Comment big profits in the chat, okay? 
that's when you can work your way to big profits because you're not just seeing yourself as a simple shea butter company or a simple lash company or a simple hair company, right? You do more than that. Your product does your customer the result that they're looking for, which is what leads them to telling more people about it, et cetera, and et cetera, and et cetera. So you really want to make sure that when you're thinking about your business, what big problem do I solve? And what makes my solution the best option for my customer? So I'm going to ask you guys. Child. I'm going to ask you guys in a second to drop your businesses in the chat because I want to know what type of businesses you have. Um, but that's a key place to start. All right. Now, once we okay, here's my uh, product. Here is the solution that I provide. And here is why it matters. Then we focus on making sure you have more than one offer. OK. It is so important to have more than one offer. She says, can I apply for grants if I don't have a social media presence? Yes, you can definitely apply for grants. Most grants will ask you what your social media handles are, but they're not necessarily going to judge you off the fact that you don't have a ton of posts, but you do need to have a website because most, if not all grants will want to, you are applying to a grant and there is no social media profile, or you have a social media profile and there's no posts on your profile, you've really got to take into consideration how that grant board or lender or whoever will look at your business because you're applying for these funds, but we don't see you posting or marketing your product, okay? That is why the content creation is so important in your business, all right? So, boom, you know what your business is. We have a women's clothing boutique. We've got a health business. I see some, you can drop your businesses in the chat. Um, I see some shea butter businesses, wellness, fitness. Okay, cool. Hey, thank you for subscribing. We're almost at 100K. Um, awesome. So, boom, you've got this. Now, one of the main ways that you are going to get to higher months in terms of your profit, in terms of your sales, is to make sure that you have more than one offer and more than one stream, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of the time when we're thinking about multiple streams of income, right, we're thinking about multiple streams outside of your business so we're thinking okay i've got my business then i've got real estate then i've got something else something else something else something else something else that's one way to do it too but i want you to understand that when you are growing your business focus on pulling as many income streams out of your current business as possible you want to be pulling income and diversification out of your one business before you jump and start a whole bunch of other businesses or a whole bunch of other streams, because that's going to take your time. That's going to take your, um, your time. That's going to take your money. It's going to distract you to have multiple products. You have other ways to make money within the business. Drop a gym. Sense. So you're going to have your main offer, right? If it's a women's clothing boutique, then it's, you know, whatever your signature products are. If it's a wellness boutique, maybe your main offer are your health vitamins. But you've got to be thinking, hmm, what additional upsells or ways can I make money in this business, right? What additional upsells can I add in this business that are still relevant to what I do? relevant to my core offer and relevant to my customer, but can give my customer more than one thing to purchase. So let's look at some real world examples. When you go to Target 
right? You know you go in for one thing, which is a pillow or, you know, trash bags or a candle, whatever the case is. But you know you come out with 11 things in your cart spending $499.53 when you meant to go in there and spend $32, so you've got to look at that example as an exact replica of what I'm saying. You, Someone is going to go into your business with the intention of buying one thing, but it is so much easier to turn a customer who already has the intention of buying one thing into a customer who ends up buying more than one thing by the fact that you have multiple offers. Think about when you go into the Apple store. Of course, we know that Apple's signature product, the one that everybody knows about, is the iPhone. But is that the only thing that they sell? No. You probably have some headphones. You probably have a laptop. You probably have an iPad. You probably have an iHome. It's sitting right behind me. You probably have an Apple TV. You have other things that you purchase from this one company. So Apple has probably 50 streams of income within the one business that are all relevant to each other before they even think about diversifying with an entire other business. So you have got to, in a sense, Apple, right? Applefy, if you will, your business, which means adding diverse product options and other ways to make money so that when your customer comes, they can choose your main thing, like a phone, but they can also get some additional stuff. So let's think about this in the context of a wellness business, okay? Okay, I think I'm just making sure I can still see the comments. Let's think about this in the context of a wellness business, right? Oh, I'm sorry about the feedback. It could be it's a little far from me. Let me bring it closer. Thank you for telling me. Um, but let's think about the wellness business. So if you've got a wellness business selling health products, selling vitamins, selling whatever, okay, let's say that that's your main thing. Um, that is your signature offer. Now, every single one of y'all's businesses, the best additional product that you should be adding into your business is a digital product, okay? Okay. If your business does not currently sell digital products, that is the absolute next offer that you should be adding into your business. Why? Because they don't cost anything to create. And the fact that people can buy an unlimited amount of them as add-ons to your current offer. So digital products can look like multiple things. They can look like eBooks, they can look like classes, they can look like workbooks. They can look like, like digital downloads. They can look like um, audiobooks. So many different ways you can incorporate a digital product into your business. Now, let's look at an example. So if your main offer is selling these wellness vitamins, right? They're good for sleeping better. They're good for skincare. They're good for losing weight. What are some other questions you want to ask yourself? What are some other problems or needs that someone who is already a wellness customer may also need fulfilled. So if they're coming to me and they're getting vitamins for losing weight, a digital product you can add on to your business is a 30-day meal plan or a, <clears throat> excuse me, or a 30-day workout plan or a self-care journal or some kind of additional program that people can add on to the product they initially came to buy. So the way you're going to systematize this is by having upsells in your business, okay? So someone comes in to purchase the vitamins or whatever your main product is, and you have already created this additional offer that is in alignment. So instead of leaving with just one thing, now they've left with two. And let's look at the stats. 35% of the time, okay, 35% of the time, when you provide an upsell option, someone is going to say yes. These are the numbers, 35% of the time. So one out of three times, 
someone is going to add that product to cart, which means you just increase the profit in your business by 33% by doing nothing except for adding a product that already makes sense in the first place. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Drop a gem in the chat if that's making sense. So you just added 33% extra revenue into your business by asking yourself the question, what other needs does my customer have that I can provide through a digital product and create an additional income stream? Now, keep in mind, that's just one digital product. You can have multiple additional guides. Hey, Mommy Millionaire. You can have multiple additional workbooks, guides, downloads, classes, and etc. Okay. So that's one additional stream. So now within your business, you've got two. One stream in your business is your actual product, right? You're the one you're selling right now. The second stream in your business is digital products. Okay. The second stream in your business is digital products. Now, let's start looking at the third theme. But wait, before we jump to the third, I really want to take the moment to emphasize the importance of funnels in your business. Comment yes or no in the chat if you know what a funnel is. Comment yes or no in the chat if you know what a funnel is. Dang, and I printed out my whole little funnel worksheet for y'all and I left it in the living room. It's okay. <laughs> if you're coming to the challenge, we're gonna go over the full funnel worksheet anyway. But comment yes or no in the chat if you know what a funnel is. And in the challenge, we'll be going over the entire funnel worksheet. So the reason why your funnels are important and how this is going to also add additional revenue into your business is your funnel essentially gives your customer a journey, okay? So what I want you all to understand that it's very important to be intentional with how you're growing your business and where you're sending your customer. So the top of your funnel is your content, that's your marketing, that is how they are essentially meeting you, okay? So this is why showing up is important. Whether that's posting, whether that's going live, whether that's sending emails, having a lead magnet or paid ads, all of those are examples of what occurs at the top of your funnel. Okay, this is how you start bringing them in. They're coming, they're coming down the slide. All right. Now, the middle of your funnel, that's where you have um, an offer. Now, usually this offer is free or very low cost. Okay, so if you have a product based business, a really great lead magnet you can have is a discount code in exchange for getting their email address. It could be a um, buy one, get one code in exchange again for their email address. It could be a sale in exchange for their email address, right? If you have a digital product or a coaching or consulting business, your lead magnet is going to be a free guide, maybe a free workbook, maybe a free class, a free video, something that starts to introduce who you are and what you do to your customer so that you have their contact information, number one, but also so that they come back, all right? That's your middle of the funnel. Something that's going to get their information over to you. Now, in between the middle of your funnel and the bottom, you're nurturing them. So what does nurturing look like? That means sending emails. That means showing up. That means um, continuing to create content. That means going live. And all of that is before your offer. So the bottom of the funnel is where we're wanting them to pay. Now, I want you guys to understand that people can pass through a funnel in one day. It doesn't mean that someone stays at the top of your funnel for six months before they eventually purchase, right? Someone can see the right post on social media, can go ahead and join your lead magnet, and can get your email about your offer that day and decide, you know what, I like this and I'm going to purchase. But the key thing is making sure that you have the steps in that journey so that they can get to that point. 
So when you are selling your core product or upselling your additional product, having different ways for a customer to come through your business is what is going to determine how much they end up spending and when they end up coming back, okay? So that's something we're going to touch on on day one of the challenge. That's our digital marketing day and uh, digital product day. So when you guys start on Sunday, which is day one, that's where we're going over how you're going to make more money in your business online, how to implement these digital products, and how to implement systems and tools like funnels, like some of these online websites, like digital marketing, to make sure that you have created different journeys for your customer to eventually spend money with you. Because I really want you guys to think about the principle of business ownership. You're creating an environment, a space where your customer is comfortable with giving you their money. Like this is, this is, you know, I really want us to think about this. You are creating a product that encourages, excuse me, and makes gives people the confidence to enter their card number and give you their money. And think about how hard people work for their money. So it's truly a blessing, number one, when you start to make sales in your business. But it's also something that you really want to pay attention to. How am I giving to my customer so that they can give back to me? And the way that you give is by the content, the showing up the lead magnet in the middle of your funnel, and then the nurturing before it gets to them actually purchasing from you. So when I'm telling you guys to really focus on how does your business solve a big problem and how are you giving a big solution? Our core offer, we added a second stream, which is your digital product. We're now going to add a third stream. Now, a third stream for you to bring into your business that you may not have thought about is merchandise, okay? Remember, before we think about creating all these extra streams outside of your business, make sure you maximize the streams in your business. So your main offer, a digital product, and merch, okay? This is an easy bump. If people rock with you, they love your business, they love your product. They are, you know, spending money with you. Merch is another way for you to create a stream in your business where people who are already buying can buy something else. Now, when I say merch, I don't just mean sell like any type of t-shirt, right? When I say merch, you want to think about catchy slogans, um, uh, phrases that makes sense according to your niche, right? So I don't, let me see if I can see the comments, but if I'm remembering right, some of these niches, we already did wellness. We talked about women's clothing. Um, I feel like we saw real estate. We saw, I think I saw someone say psychology, but let's look at, let's do real estate. All right, so I'm gonna pull up ChatGPT. And let me open a new window real quick. All right. So you guys know, those of you who are already in the challenge, you're getting a list of a thousand chat GPT prompts. So this prompt that I'm putting in right now is one of the ones from that list. But here's how you can use chat GPT to help you come up with this slogan or this phrase that you can put on some merch as a complement to your business, creating an additional income stream, okay? Oh, I like that, beauty hair consultations. So boom, our prompt is, you are a digital marketing expert. Please create a list of 15 to 20 possible slogans slash phrases that will be relatable and funny to... What was the niche we decided? Let's do beauty uh, hair. To women who love to get their hair done. So then you're gonna put whatever business you have. 
I own a hair consultation business and am adding merchandise. These should be short and quirky so they can easily go on t-shirt designs, all right? Boom, so I'm gonna turn my camera on so you guys can see these pulling up. So it already gave us 20 and that was like three and a half seconds. But here is the prompt. You're a digital marketing expert. Please create a list of 15 to 20 possible slogans that'll be relatable and funny to women who love to get their hair done. I own a hair consultation business. So this is where you'll put whatever type of business you have. And I'm adding merchandise. These should be short and quirky so they can easily go on t-shirt designs. So they gave us messy hair, don't care. Um, main attraction, like M-A-N-E, that's cute. Hair game strong. Hair queen, crown included. Hair goals, AF. Bad hair day, what's that? That's cute. Straight out of the salon, like straight out of Compton. These are cute. These are really cute. Hair today, fabulous tomorrow. See here, right? And let me turn the camera for YouTube too. Let me, ooh, did this just zoom in? I have no idea. Okay. All right, let me turn this. So here's the prompt, y'all. And here's all the different slogans that it gave us. So you can use this prompt for every single one of y'all's businesses. And this is a way that, again, we're just adding additional merchandise to be able to sell in our business. So before we have the thought that, oh, my one product isn't selling, before we start giving up on the business, we want to make sure, have we exercised all options? Have we exercised all options? Okay. You're not going to know until you try everything. So much of the time when I work with my clients one-on-one -on -one or when I'm teaching classes, right? That's going to be so good for you, Luis. When I'm teaching classes, people have given up on their business too soon. They've jumped to a new business too soon without having tried to pull out five, six, seven different income streams from that business before saying, okay, it's a fact, this is not going to work, right? There's always a way to serve your customer and relate to your customer, especially when you create different options. So one thing I want you guys to understand as well is that you're not only selling these things on social media. Yes, Instagram is powerful. Yes, TikTok is powerful. Yes, YouTube is powerful. But remember, when you have a digital product, you can also sell this on Amazon, when you have a digital product, you can also sell this on Etsy. This, this merch and these slogans that I'm having you create, you can also sell these on Etsy, on Pinterest, okay? Multiple places where you can sell this product to make money in multiple ways. Comment big bags in the chat. Comment big bags in the chat. So now here's a third income stream. So someone who's coming across your posts on social media or your posts on Etsy, they may not even necessarily know what else your business offers, but they see a t-shirt that is, what was the cute one we liked? Main attraction or straight out of the salon. That catches their attention. They buy that. Now you have a customer from an entire other stream that you created. And now you have them on your list. So when you want to present to them, hey, I also have this ebook. I also have this digital product. I also sell this hair. I also sell these wellness vitamins, whatever the case is. Now you're able to turn someone who was just a customer of one product into a customer of multiple products. Okay. So that alone is three income streams that you can create in your business. Now, if you get all of those streams, your main offer, your digital product, and let's say some merch to $5,000 monthly or $10,000 monthly, you now went from a $2,000 or $3,000 a month business to a $15,000 or $30,000 a month business simply because you diversified. 
simply because you diversified. Now, when we have our class on Sunday, that's day one of the Financial Freedom Challenge, we're going to go over how you can successfully create six different income streams in your business. And all of these can be online. All of them. All of them. So you've got your, <laughs> yes, you've got your main offer, a digital product or multiple, your merch. You can also create your signature offer, a blog, affiliate links. That's six right there. That's six right there. And all of these are online. We haven't even added drop shipping, which can be your seventh uh, stream. I'm going to be breaking down the simplicity of drop shipping so you can decide if that's something you want to add into your business. But that right there is seven different streams that you can put right into your business now to increase your chances of hitting higher months. And again, it's not like you're creating seven different businesses that are going to take your time and energy. You're creating seven different streams to exist within your business that are all based on the same solution, the same problem, the same niche, the same core customer. So look at it this way. If each different stream gets to $10,000, that's $70,000 now that your business is making because of the fact that you have created seven different streams all related to your business. Drop a gem in the chat if that's making sense. Yes, Louise, I'm excited for you, girl. And I hope you're in the challenge too. I think you are, but we are going to really be able to do a lot with your beauty hair consultation business. I've never even heard of something like that. Exactly, that is how you're going to scale. That is how you're going to scale. So do not get discouraged, right? I want to just speak this into you right now. Whatever your financial situation is right now, if you have days where you feel totally discouraged by your business, you're like, I don't even know if I want to do this. I want you to stay positive, stay encouraged. Do not give up on that business. It doesn't mean your business idea is wrong. It doesn't mean your business cannot work. What we're going to do is discover what additional products or streams do you need to add into your business to diversify so that you can get the results that you're looking for. That's the main difference. So I want you guys to comment commit in the chat if you can commit to spending the next six days in my challenge, in the financial freedom challenge. Comment commit in the chat. Because we are almost sold out and I want to make sure that every single person who is ready to make more money, who is ready to make $50,000 in passive income, who is ready to hit six figures monthly in their business, who's ready to secure 50K in funding, I want to make sure that you're in the room. Yes, Luis, I cannot wait to see you. I'm going to give you guys the opportunity right now to secure your seat. We start on Sunday, so we're four days away, four and a half days away from doing the work. If you can commit those six days, right? Look at what we've covered in just 45 minutes on here. Imagine what you are going to be able to do and how far you're going to be able to advance in your business with five and six days of actual focus on what you need. That's is why this is your year to be financially free. So one of the best things that you're gonna get in the challenge is not only the six days of classes, not only all the bonuses, but when I'm telling you to diversify your business by having digital products, I'm actually gonna give you the digital products to sell in a done for you bundle. So I don't want you to come into the challenge or graduate from the challenge stressed out trying to figure out how am I going to make this money? How am I going to make these products? How am I going to diversify? Like Ellie said, that done for you bundle is going to include digital products that are already done for you that you can just change 
your colors, your picture, whatever particular wording to make it fit your voice. And you're going to be able to sell these and keep 100% of the profit. So I'm creating the product for you to add into your business so that immediately, immediately, you can start to see results. You can add this product in your business and start to make money. No more delay. No more delay. If you've ever struggled with figuring out digital marketing or figuring out how to sell digital products the way you see other people do it, or even how to create them, all that work is already done for you. And that is a free bonus for this challenge. So I like to think of it as you have, you know, Ellie in a box. If I was there with you creating the products for you to sell in your business, this is this is what that is. I'm literally right there. You have it, but you get to sell it and keep 100% of the profit. So I am so excited for you in advance. That's going to really get your business going and give you the ability to jump ahead. So much of the time we stay in the same place because of the fact that we're stuck, right? But now you can get unstuck. No promo. I don't know what you mean by that, babe. But the great thing about um, this is that I'm still giving you guys the early bird price. So instead of the challenge being $5.97, I'm dropping the price to $3.97. So when we divide that by six days, that's like 60 something dollars a day. And you're still getting all those bonuses. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Now that done for you bonus, if you've ever been on a live with me, you know I only make those available for 10 people, okay? So 10 people are going to have the option and the opportunity to secure their seat to this challenge and get this done for you bonus as a part of your program. And that 10 is gonna start right now. This is already expired. Like if you go to the website, you're going to see that the done for you option expired already. But I'm going to manually right now make sure that those 10 of you who get your C are going to have that as well. So in addition to the done for you bundle, let me just read you guys the other bonuses that you're going to get because as soon as you secure your C, all these bonuses are listed for you. Okay. So you are getting the passive income course, business plan template, digital product workbook, marketing template, a thousand chat GPT prompts, list of a thousand business grants, grant proposal templates, and a list of a thousand lenders. All of those are just free bonuses, okay? Literally like over a thousand dollars in additional products, just free. And in addition, the done for you bundle, all right? The reason I am overloading this challenge with all this amazing bonuses is this is probably the last live class we're going to have because y'all know I'm going to be on maternity leave, okay? This baby is growing, thank God, and let's pray for a healthy, safe delivery. But I want to make sure that before I bounce up out of here, that I give you guys a great, great, great start to the year so that you can really get this financial freedom goal and make it a reality. So get you need to get up in here because after this challenge is done, y'all not go see me. And I'm telling you, I will be laid up in the bed, barefoot and pregnant in the house waiting to pop this baby, okay? <laughs> so... Make sure you do not miss out on this opportunity. So I'm just going to show you guys all the bonuses so that you can see it right on the website. And there are two ways to join. So your VIP ticket is $3.97 and it's going to get you all these bonuses. But you can also join general admission, which is $97. It does not include any of the bonuses, but it does get you in the room. So I wanted to create a secondary option just for those of you who may want that uh, price. Do what you got to do. But what you don't want to do is let this sell out. Okay. 
So boom, $3.97 gets you all your bonuses. We do have a firm after pay and Klarna. So if you want to split your payment, do it now before it's sold out. And you're going to use those payment methods and put your email address because this is a tax write-off. So when I say this is a tax write-off, I mean, you're going to write this off of your taxes, which is going to make it free. So YouTube, I'm dropping the link. Instagram, I'm dropping the link. Instagram, you're going to jump out of this live, go to the link in my bio, secure your seat ASAP. Because we have 15 total seats left for the challenge. And I have gone and activated the bonus for the next 10 of you. So the next 10 of you who secure your seat, you're getting all those bonuses plus the done for you bonus, which on its own is $3,000, but it's coming to you for free with your VIP ticket to the challenge. So again, this is done for you digital products that you can market with showing your face or without showing your face. It's digital marketing strategies that you can just plug and play into your business. You do not need to spend hours teaching yourself how to do this. Just plug and play. And it's also, of course, giving you 100% resale rights. So I make it, you sell it, you keep the money. That sounds like a great deal. Okay, I see two of you guys already secured your seat. So that means there's eight left. Don't let someone claim you out of your spot. I'm going to give you guys two minutes, three minutes before I hop off of here. All right. Three minutes to get the next eight seats as a VIP and get all the bonuses and or general and get in the room. Okay, so Instagram, you guys are going to click on this link in my bio. That'll take you here. And it is the five day challenge. And then boom, you're going to secure your seat. So here's all your bonuses, plus the done for you bundle, which you can see it's expired, but I made it available for the next 10 of you. So when you secure your seat, this is a tax write off. So make sure you guys put your email address correctly Use a firm Klarna Afterpay if needed and get in the room. So after you enter your email address, you're going to get an email receipt. Save that receipt because that's how you're going to write it off of your taxes. So basically, it's free. Basically, when you write this off, it is free. Okay, we have six left. And those of you who just secured your seat, I am making sure you have the digital product bonus enrolled. Okay. Yes. And you do have um, lifetime access to these recordings. Okay. So the classes are virtual. And you are going to be able to watch these replays. You also have lifetime access to all the bonuses. So the list of grants, the list of lenders, the um, chat GPT prompts, the business plan template, all those bonuses that I share, you have those forever. Okay, good. All right, so it's been three minutes, but here's what I'm going to do. We still have a few left to get inside of that group of 10. What I want you guys to do right now is send me a DM. I will be in my DMs. My team is in my DMs to help you guys get secure. We start on Sunday. So at one point we were three weeks away, two weeks away. Now we are literally four days away from the challenge. So I want you to send me a DM right now with the word freedom, and let me know you were in this live tonight. We'll make sure we get you enrolled and I will still keep that price at early bird and make sure you have that digital bonus, okay? So you're getting all the days of the challenge, all the bonuses plus the done for you bundle. 
will get you locked in. Shout out to those of you who have already gotten it. We have four left. So go ahead and do that ASAP. And same with you all, YouTube. That link is going to stay open, but you can DM me on Instagram or just drop me a comment on YouTube and we'll help you guys secure your seat. All right. Let me just make sure the rest of you guys get enrolled. Okay, perfect. All right. So DM me the word freedom. Love y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. I will see you guys in the challenge on Sunday. So start counting down. We're four days away. Cannot wait to see you guys so you can get this money. Bye. Oh, okay, y'all too. YouTube, I dropped the link for you all. Same things apply. Secure your seats, VIP or general, so you can get in the room. And Luis, you can click on that link um, excuse me, but if you need any help, send me a direct message on Instagram, okay? <coughs> excuse me, or leave a comment on this live, and then I'll make sure that me and my team help you secure your seat. But don't let it get sold out, okay? So click that link, secure your seat so that you can be in the room. Cannot wait to see you guys in the challenge.